or welcome to or welcome back to No Pants Province. My name is Richard and I'm here with Kirsten. And we are here for another drinking adventure somewhere around the world. Yeah. We're not on a cruise ship right now and a lot of people talk about drinking around the world at Disney. And what is that? That's like eight boring countries at Epcot, isn't it? Yeah. Kirsten, here at No Pants we strive for more, don't we? Yes. So for the next 14 hours we're going to be drinking around the world. But when I mean the world, I mean all of Disney World. The Disney World. So we are in the Pandora uh, World of Avatar at the um, Animal Kingdom Park. Why we're here first is it opens first and we're gonna end at the Disney Springs because it closes last, right? And it is the week, week before Labor, Labor Day, Day weekend. weekend. And this is actually, and it's a Wednesday. And this is actually the slowest time to go to the Disney Park of the entire year. The second slowest time would be January right after school gets back, but the kids that are uh, that are here right now are the international or truant because most of the schools have gone back. Uh, we've got the uh, oh, what was it? Hawks Grog Ale from uh, what's the name of the brewery? Terrapin. Terrapin Brewing Company. And this is our first drink of the day. And what time is it, Kirsten? Uh, 8:43. 8:43 a.m. Yes. Oh Lord. Do you want to taste it? Yeah. Give them a little taste. This is uh, it so is not, green. It is not St. Patrick's Day. But it's St. Patrick's Day all year. Uh, again, Hawks Grog Ale. Uh, we're going to be sticking to beers today because um, you don't want to mix liquor and beer. But it's from a Terrapin Brewing Company. It is an American pale wheat beer. And no matter what we think about it, guess what it gets to be for now? Number one. It gets to be number one. Now here's the fun part. Kirsten, you are somewhat the designated driver today. The designated Disneyer today. Yeah. So I'm going to pass this. Wait. I'm going to pass this to you. Yay. All right. And uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to do this uh, with you guys on cameras at the same time. So this is the Hawks Grog Ale. All right. So I'm going to intro myself again on this camera. Hey, I am here with drink number one of drinking around the world. This is the Hawks Grog Ale from Terrapin Brewing Company. We're here in the... Uh, world of Avatar from Pandora and uh, yeah why am I talking I've got a couple seconds to drink this beer every single one unless it's impossible to we're gonna bottoms up it and I've got 40 seconds I'm just buying time um, yeah this is an American wheat and for some reason it is uh, all the time it is uh, St. Patrick's Day oh god can I do it in 30 seconds here we go chug it Richard chug it chug it Richard chug it chug it chug it you look <clears throat> like you're chugging sludge <clears throat> I do. Hold on. I still got 20 more seconds. It's not even 9 a.m. yet. Oh my gosh. So Let that, the day begin. That's not supposed to be crushable. It is crushable. Drink number one. Voted number one so far. Check out the full video coming soon. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Kirsten. Now we're gonna go ride a ride that's got like a five minute wait that normally gets multiple hours of wait. And Kirsten, you're no longer employed by the Walt Disney Company, so we can talk about something for a minute, right? Uh-huh. Now Kirsten used to work at the Haunted Mansion. We're gonna share all kinds of fun Disney facts today. Can you share some Haunted Mansion facts when we go to the Haunted Mansion later today? Sure. Yeah, but we're out there now. But, so. Uh, oh God. Hey, who said the ride was gonna go down? Who called that, Kirsten? Uh, you. Yeah, there, so, there's nothing for the lightning lane or standby. Yeah, they, they, they just shut it down. All right. So, One of the uh, most important things in life is pivoting. Yes. So the thing is, um, we are here right at park opening. Um, and the important thing to understand about park opening is you never want to go on a ride that takes a long time for the experience, right, when you get at park opening. What do I mean? There's an avatar ride right over there. That's like a whole simulator and all that. Thing is that experience is about 40 minutes, even if there's no line. Mm -hmm. And by the time you do that, where does your lead go? Gone. Your lead against other people gone. is gone. Uh, I already did that boat ride and I was texting Kirsten and I was, cause she was running a little bit behind. I was texting her before and I said, something's majorly wrong. I see east stop lights, I see east stop lights. And what happened? It happened. Oh, but here's the thing, that's the wrong cut. We gotta take the shortcut. We are headed now to Africa to go on safari. I think we gotta go up this way because that's the way we came in. So we're gonna go on safari. Now generally you wouldn't want to do the safari ride first because the safari ride takes like a half an hour, right? Yeah. And that gives up your lead. So when you go in the park, you want to do, I think this is the way out. Yeah. That's the way back towards the front. <laughs> that, no. 
That's the way back towards the front. That's this is the way, the way I came in. No. I don't know. Uh, I thought we were going to finish each other's sandwiches. That's we're what I was going to say. We're fight today. I think this goes to Africa. Okay. You believe it goes to I the front think of the it park. Goes, I think it goes to both. Nope. It goes out to Discovery Island where you can split off to nope. Africa. I think it goes directly to Africa. Look, we're already fighting. This is what I'm happens. Gonna, what? I'm going to look in the app. I don't need the app. I don't need the app because I'm a man and I refuse to use maps. Sorry, am I wrong? This goes directly wait. to Africa. Let me wait. This goes directly to Africa, this right? This is. Path? Thank you. This is a special shortcut. Perfect. Thank you. This is a special shortcut to Africa. And it where is. do we need to go to get on the Kilimanjaro ride? Africa. Yeah. Let's talk about the Kilimanjaro ride. We're going to show them a little bit of it. I don't know if we're going to get on the Navi boat ride later. I didn't take any video of it. It's pretty terrible. Um, I like it. Peaceful. <laughs> you know the story behind that? I know that that animatronic is like one of the largest can I, animatronics. Can I tell a fun Disney story that you probably never know? Of course, but I still didn't give you a Haunted Mansion fact, so no. we'll do that next. Okay, well, we'll do that at the Haunted Mansion. We'll uh, do it relevant when we're towards relevant places. Okay. So you know that, um, so how are the, the two Avatar rides, here's a, here's a fun trivia question. How are the two Avatar rides and Spaceship Earth connected? It's actually really funny. I don't know. They're all dark pieces of crap. Who knows? No, no, no. It's just a real, it's a real thing. It's not a joke. I'm listening. Who was the last sponsor of Spaceship Earth? Uh, Siemens. Yes. Who did the fire control systems in the building that has added the two Avatar rides inside of it? It's one building. I guess it's probably Siemens. It's the main reason that Siemens dropped their, uh, dropped their sponsorship is because Disney sued Siemens for hundreds of millions of dollars over the Avatar building, and Siemens mm. dropped their sponsorship of Spaceship Earth because of the lawsuit. That's weird. So yeah, uh, what happened was the fire alarms kept going off in the buildings. <laughs> so uh, why, who knows? You really didn't know this path existed back here going directly no, to Africa? No, I knew it did. I just uh, didn't remember what it connected to what, but I know I've been on it. All right, now I want to talk. We're going to talk something very specific today. All right, the only place in the park, and not that I like them, but the only place I'm allowed to get domestic American beers is in America at Epcot, if that makes sense. Yes. Non-craft domestic American beers. Right. Elsewise, we're going to stick to craft and foreign beers. And I think that's yes, fair. Yes, the special things. The special things. So um, again, you know, you get a yingling there. I think we might wind up there for lunch. We'll see. But uh, we're going to head over to Kilimanjaro Safaris, which I wanted to talk about for a moment. Um, Kilimanjaro Safaris. You know what? Let's talk about it after the fact. Let's talk about, you remember what Kilimanjaro Safaris used to be, don't you? Yes, with the big red and the little red and the Well, and jumbo. the bridge that shook and an actual storyline uh -huh. and everything yes. like that. Uh-oh, I see a beer. What do we have? We have Tiger Eye Gold. And it's brewed and canned in Jacksonville. It's a gold ale. Uh-oh, Kirsten. This looks like it fits our specification. All right. Let me grab a Tiger Eye Gold. I'm just gonna show the can to the camera again real quick. I know we can't have the can, we're in Animal Kingdom specifically, so they don't give you the cans or the pull tops because they can hurt the animals. Did you know that? I think I've heard this before, but I forgot it. Yeah. Thanks for refreshing me. So. This one is perfect. All right. All right. Kirsten, we haven't even stopped the video yet. We're already on beer number two. This right. is dangerous. And it's not, it's, it's 8.50. It's not even 9 o'clock somewhere. And Disney gift card here. No, thank you. Disney gift cards. They're so good, you don't even know. Oh, you don't even know they're real money. Um, so who makes this? Let's just see. This is, uh, let me take a picture of it real quick. Tiger's Gold Ale. It's brewed in... Uh, Janesville by the first magnitude brewing company. And this is an exclusive one for Animal Kingdom. Kirsten, you want to try it real quick? Yes. All right. An ale. Would you put that above or below the green beer? Uh, I like it a little better. Still not crushable. 
You say not crushable. And you say of the things in your life that you'll crush and they are crushable. Yes, you shall. Oh, I should wait for the short for that. I am going to crush this beat here. Yes, it's Hamilton, you understand? I've never seen Hamilton. Oh, you didn't get that joke? No. Okay, hold up. I'm gonna give Curse the fear. I'm gonna give Curse in the camera. We are gonna stop and we'll talk about the, uh, we'll talk about the ride and, uh, and yeah, we'll talk about, okay, so let me, we do the short at the same time. Those of you who are like, hey, why did I see all these shorts a month before the actual video came out? Because I'm ahead of myself for once, which is really rare. Movie magic. Movie magic. Hey there, I'm at Animal Kingdom for beer number two in like less than 10 minutes of drinking around the world. And this is the Tiger Eye Gold Beer from Jacks uh, not Jacksonville, Gainesville, Florida from First Magnitude Brewing. And Kirsten said, this is not crushable. And I say, you'll be wrong once again. I am going to crush this beer. Yes, this beer it is c -c 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 crushable. Kirsten doesn't know. I don't actually know Hamilton that much, but I love the king from Hamilton. That's uh, that's Sven. I know uh. that's uh, that's Kristoff from the from the Frozen. But here we go. Can I crush it in th 20 seconds? Here we go. All right. Richard is on a singing kick currently because he's learned to share his voice. Uh, <clears throat> wow, that was quick. That was <clears throat> that was 10 seconds. Yes, I crushed this beer. Ha 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 And it's the best beer so far. So Richard had it stolen from him, this the singing competition on our last uh, Oh they saw it by now on our they last watched. ship. Alright, so that beer is now gone. Uh, I do agree that, that beer is number one. But Kirsten, let's talk about I don't know if you know this. As we're going to Kilimanjaro Safaris, it's kind of I would say it's the headline attraction to this park. Yes. Other than maybe it shares that title with Expedition Everest. Yeah, well, they, the fake greeting is not a zoo, as in not a zoo, but that's their most close uh, zoo attraction. Um, it, it covers a lot of land, and they promote themselves as the animal kingdom. Think, that's where the animals Correct me if I'm are. wrong. I believe that that ride itself, the land that covers, is bigger than the entire Magic Kingdom. I have heard something like that. This park is bigger than all the other three parks combined. It is, but yes. But let's go ahead and... Um, do you remember Rhino Rally? Uh, I'm not talking that about was Disney. in Dino Land. No. Or, no. That was in Bush Gardens. Oh. That was the spiritual successor to this ride. See, you you lived in Florida at a younger age than I did. I didn't come here until I was an adult. So they used to have on this ride a shaking bridge, right? And that shaking bridge, you remember the shaking bridge, right? Yeah. You go on it with shake, they still have it. it. Just hasn't worked for years. Maybe it'll work this time. But Bush Gardens took it one step further with a ride called Rhino Rally, which was made by the, a lot of the people who originally made this. And what was really cool is you had that rocking bridge, mm -hmm. but then, so the, the car would latch onto the bridge and it would actually become a boat ride in the middle of the ride. That's awesome. Your whole truck would latch onto the bridge. Something Disney never made work and Bush Gardens made work many, wow. many years later. Now, remember, if this is a normal day, you're giving up a lot of your advantage by going on this ride right now in time, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, but but this think... is a nice slow Wednesday. This is a nice slow Wednesday. Kids just all went the kids back, should to be back to school. Um, so we went in the last 13 minutes. We're down two beers. Oh God, you know what I think we need before the next another ride? Another beer. I think we need another beer. Da -da 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 -da. I want to dance on the tables before lunch. Oh, Kirsten. I'm the drinker. I'm using it for hydration. Let's see if we can find one. Now, what we are going to be ranking again by the end of the day, oh, that's not an easy, that's not a simple line to get a beer. What we are gonna be ranking by the end of the day is the best park to get beers in. And I really don't think it's gonna be Epcot. I don't think it's gonna be Epcot. I don't think it's gonna be Magic Kingdom. I can't really tell you anything other than that. Uh, we got a little stand up here. The question is, does this guy have different beers than the last guy. Oh God, what does is that? look like it. Oh God, it's Bud Light. I know they have an amber beer in this park somewhere, but no, we are not, keyword not, going for the Bud Light. So, <laughs> we're staying away from that. Let's not go for the Bud Light. Whoa. 
and I'm a little gassy. I wonder why. Let's see if we can get one more beer here in this 20 minute clip. Come on. Something in that yellowish orange can. Oh, there is something there. Oh, is God. that a beer, though? That is a beer. That's the grapefruit beer from Epcot. Ah, uh, I don't like, like grapefruit, but I'll take a sip. It's like the grapefruit beer from Epcot. We'll probably have it later at Epcot. No, we won't, because we're not going to double it down. But um, I like to call it the Schattenfreude beer. So this is, yeah, you've never had this one before? No. It's a perfectly unique in taste. Oh, grapefruit Hefeweizen. Half half you get uh, grapefruit. That's the grapefruit Hefeweizen. That's, oh, you're gonna wipe off my sweat? So what happens when you do. Huh. I'm just trying to show everybody up front that, you know, I'm a machine. You are. Huh. And it's, it's 8.58 a.m. Get the grapefruit beer. Yeah, one grapefruit beer. Yep. Okay. And okay. Disney gift card. Right there. So yeah, I've got it all loaded in the Disney gift card. Doesn't even feel like money, does it, Kirsten? It's like spending Bitcoin. It sucks being off the cruise ship, though, where food costs money again. Thank you. So he yep. makes my bed and gives me towel animals. They don't? Oh. All right, Kristen. I just have real animals that poo. Do they poo, but they're birds. Oh, we're in the sun right now. Did you know getting pooed on by a bird is considered good luck in many cultures? Some would say no shit. I say yes. All right. I know you need the can. Can I just take a picture of the can real quick? All right, perfect. Thank you, Thank you very much. All right. Oh, smells grapefruity, like sweet, but grapefruity. Let's jump in the shade real quick. Smells grapefruity, like sweet, but grapefruity. Are you not, you're not a grapefruit fan? No. I'm not a grapefruit fan. Here, let's turn this way. I'm trying to get light, yeah. sorry. Oh, yeah. Kirsten, you've already party fouled before 9 a.m. On your belly. What? It's not wet. No, your el my elbow on your belly. All right. That is better than it smells and unexpectedly good. Really? Do you think it's crushable? For I'm not asking you, you to crush it. For you, it's going to be crushable. For a regular human, probably not. It feels like a heavier beer. Right, where are we going to put it? Let me taste it. I'm going to taste it, not crush it. I would honestly maybe even put it on top or between the oh, other Oh, that's two. good. It is it good. It almost tastes like a sour. Almost, but it's just sweet enough. It's complex. All right, here we go. Camera right here. Um, I, I need to try that one more time. Okay. Kirsten's going to try it one more time while I go back and study my photo. Oh, and don't worry. The uh, inconsistent breathalyzer is totally with us today. Schnau Schnaufterhoffel. Okay. Cool. All right. You've tried it? All right, so we're here at Animal Kingdom for beer number three around the world. Now, this is a beer you'd usually find at Epcot. This is the grapefruit beer. This is a company out of Germany, I believe. Don't kill me. Yes, this is a very Schnur popular Yeah, this is the popular there. one in Germany in the Epcot Pavilion. It's Schnauferhoffel, I think is the name of it. Something like that. It's, it's just known as the grapefruit beer. Um, it's very crushable. It almost tastes like a sour, but it's not. And it smells a little more grapefruity than what it tastes. And it seems to have a lot less gas in it than it should. I mean, than, than beer should. So let's see if we can crush it. I have uh, 20 seconds. Here we go. All right. Wow. I cannot believe how you do this. Jumbo, everyone. Oh, Jumbo, everyone. That was 11 seconds. Uh, sorry. Stay tuned for beer number four. Appears all around Disney World. All right. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna leave these fine people for a little bit, because we've been 20 minutes straight. We've kind of given them a little bit behind the scenes, haven't we? 
Yeah. We never get in the behind the scenes. We never really go 20 minutes straight while moving. We'll do it while sitting down. Someone, and while making shorts. Well, someone commented this morning, and they said to me, they said, how come you haven't drank the whole bar yet? And, and any of the new, they, they don't know the upcoming stuff that's coming that, you know, we've already experienced. My liver's experienced. But, uh, you know, look, this is a 10-minute wait. The problem is this is a 10-minute wait for, like, a 35-minute ride. So mm-hmm. you give up some of your advantage there, you know. Ties up a lot of time. Se. Maybe the animals will be active in the morning. Yeah, it gets we'll really hot in the evening. I mean, your best time to do this is pretty much first thing in the morning. What were we talking about? Um, oh, so we're doing more than drinking the whole bar. We're drinking the whole world and not drink around the world. Yeah. We're Disney World. Even really the whole universe because we started in Pandora. Yeah, and, when that, and, and we might go into space later. Yeah, I when that, go to space. When that gift card expires, we'll, we'll think about adding more. But uh, these are about 10, I've never been to that space These are about restaurant. 10 to $12 a beer. Just to, to give you a uh, perspective. Um, and uh, overall, they're about 10 to $12 a beer. And if we do go to space, though, we do have to do something bad in space, though. Uh-oh. We're going to have to switch to cocktails. Uh-oh. Because they don't brew beer in space. Ah. Uh. But we're going to go on the safari ride. I'll bring you a couple clips of the safari ride. And uh, on our way back from the safari ride, we're going to go the back route. So we're going to go through Asia on our way back from the safari ride. And Kirsten, did you bring a change of clothes or you forgot? Uh, I forgot. Cool. So I might go, if there's not a long line, I might go on the rapids ride, get all wet, and just bring my phone. I'll leave you with everything else. Okay. Just so I can Excellent. show them some of the rapids ride, because I have a full change of clothes. I actually bought a two-week suitcase. Of course suitcase. you do. Of course you do. I have a two-week suitcase. Well, we'll give you some stuff on here. It's been 21 minutes. You've seen a lot of behind the scenes here. And three beers already, and it's 9.03 a.m. And uh, we're going until 10.45 p.m. PM. Well, that's when our last show starts, the drone show. Limited time only. Well, by the time this video is out, the drone show is gone. Gone. You have to wait till next year. Because this isn't coming out till like, end of September. Yeah. And it's currently end and of August. And we're on the last week now of the drone show. Super so, I have, I only saw, I saw the original drone show, which is one of the original drone shows on Earth. Wait, did you remember yeah. they did it years ago at Disney Springs? No. Oh yeah, they did it years ago. I haven't seen the new one. It was, um, I don't know if you know anything about drone shows. Intel created them. I don't know why I'm giving this history now, but I guess I am. As I get drunker, I'm just gonna stop caring and not give out fun facts. Intel created them with something called the Intel Starlight drones. And then a whole bunch of startups came and just kind of redid it. Mm -hmm. And uh, now Intel has nothing to do with anything. But we'll catch you on the Kilimanjaro Safari ride. And we're gonna get some Asian beer and some dinosaur beer. Yes. That's a thing, right? Yes, we're gonna go out of the universe and back in time. To get that dino? But yes. yeah, these are the vehicles that we're taking. Again, I love to show you kind of real time. This is how you guys watch this. If you're drinking along. This line is really moving because they probably haven't opened that fast pass lightning oh my genie God. crap yet. Lightning genie crap. The only reason it stopped right now is because someone's dropping off their child. Or wheelchair or stroller. Or child. All right, we'll see you on the right. Kirsten, so what's in front of us? It's the giraffes. 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 Oh, and they have a blue black tongue. Okay, here's the real question. What is the sound that a dying giraffe makes? Nothing. They don't make sound. Probably right. So we, we went around instead of waiting for the giraffe. There's the giraffe. And as you can probably guess, they are the tallest animals in the world. Mommy, wow! I'm a big kid now. Giraffe's probably named Jeffrey. Oh, there's another one. Looks like there's a few more. Giraffe on the corner here on our right. 
There's also some apartments not favorite this way as well. Hey, Christian. You know what this ride makes this place seem like? You mean a zoo? Yeah. A zoo? But they don't have good beer in the zoo. They have good beer here. Beer's going to be hard later tonight, later this afternoon in Magic Kingdom. But we will do it. We will survive. We like Amber, right? Yeah. We're going to eat wherever. When we get beers at Magic Kingdom, even if you're not going to drink it, you're going to order one. Because you can only get limited beer there. You can only get beer when you sit down and eat there. So. Oh, giraffe up. Over, I think that we are going to head over to our left. There's a lot of trees knocked down this way. Oh, it can be a really good the road is flooded that way. This is not the normal path. Of the Savannah. Weird. They're gonna have the it's like the, the morning path, the maintenance path. Office. Mm. Oh, so we got an elephant there. Or occasionally we do some form smaller birds for the other males. The reason that they do this is just because those larger family groups. Nice. Elephants tend to live in a matriarch. This being that the females are going Nothing to be that one. in charge. The oldest female in the herd will remember information like migration patterns and nearby food and water sources. She'll pass that knowledge. Kirsten, so we just finished the safari. I would say that's a... Uh... That's more animals than you've ever seen. Kirsten goes, that's the earliest I've ever been on the safari. Yeah, they were all hungry and active, except the lions. Except for the lions. So we have been in the magical Pandora land. So we walked through Africa. Now I think we're going through Asia, right? Ish. Yeah. Uh, this market is Harambe. Usually... No, no. Harambe is where we're leaving. Yeah. This is the Harambe market. Going towards Anandapur. I, I honestly, you're gonna laugh. I don't ex even expect that to open today. It's so quiet in this park. Yeah. I don't think they're gonna do that. Um, we're going towards Anandapur. If the, if the line for the rapids ride, last time I was here it was closed. If the line for the rapids ride is short, I'm gonna leave everything behind with Kirsten. I'm gonna have a beer first. I'm gonna leave everything behind with Kirsten and I have a change of clothes in the truck. So this is gonna be the one time I can change my clothes. You don't get that wet on Tiana, do you? No. Really, this rapids ride is the most soaking ride across all of ours. Oh, we got a wait time board. Wait time board. <laughs> five minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, five minutes for the rapids ride. Oh yeah, I'll do the rapids ride. Expedition um, Everest, 10 minutes, but the single rider Avatar line will be flight even of faster. faster. Yeah, Navi River Journey's closed. Wow. Five minutes for dinosaur, five minutes. Have you seen lines this slow? That's because... Not for a while. You know why? That's because Disney's dead. They went woke and now they've gone... No. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's because everyone should be back in school now. Uh, and this, but this weekend's going to be insane here. That's what's crazy. Uh-huh. Starting probably tomorrow, it's going to be insane here. Yeah. That's why... From people stretching out the weekend. That's why but I'm not going... this far. That's why I'm going to the Horror Nights preview tomorrow night. For the, uh, the Media Horror Nights preview. But you're going to see that Media Horror Nights preview long before this, because that's going to be published right away, like real time. This is going to be published um, <laughs> when time allows it, in late September. Why, or wait, yeah, in uh, late September. Why? Because I'm going to uh, Hawaii, and there's notoriously bad I'm going to need a selfie right corner. here. Chris is taking a selfie. With you. Oh, we're taking, you better take it the right way then. Yeah, they have that. This Take way it sideways, too. yeah. All right. Let's get another beer. Before yeah. Before I get myself soaked. My mouth is dry. I need beer. Your mouth is dry. You need beer. It's basically water. Yeah. I think we can find a beer somewhere. You know, you know where I think we're going to find a beer? We're going to find a beer where they usually sell. I was selling Kirsten. I think I said this off camera. Uh, when I went this morning, I stopped at a Wawa to charge my truck. And I made 100 bucks in the casino. No, 300 bucks in the casino, sorry. I made 300 bucks in the casino in uh, 14 minutes. And then I went back to my truck. That's the Hard Rock off Orient The Hard Road. Rock, the Hard Rock in Tampa. Oh, look, Kevin's here. You see Kevin? Oh, yeah, the bird. It's the and he's outside the bird show. I don't know what Kevin's doing I here. I have not seen it since they renovated this. The bird show or the Kevin? The, uh, the bird show. Since they made it Doug's Bird Adventure? What? Because everything needs IP. Feathered Friends in Flight. 
in Bobby Ige's days. But, oh, look, Kevin's here. Kevin's the retarded bird from Up. I'm late enough in this video, I can get away with saying retarded. Let's see where Kevin Very is. Very colorful. Hey, Kirsten, that just looks like a human in a bird costume. You hush. What? You hush. No, it's okay. You're good right there. You're good right there. I, he, she's on so right shiny. There. Oh, wow. All right. Not often that you see. Kevin, let's go here. This is where I always get, I was saying, I, I got a frozen Coke at Wawa this morning. That's part of the story before Kevin distracted me. I think you can get beer here. I think. Before I uh, take everything and commit to this damn stupid ride I'm about to. I love the uh, like fake Coca-Cola riding too. No, it's real. Okay, what we got? Oh, all right. This, none of this fits the theme, but, um, hmm. Is the beer draft or canned? It's canned. It's canned, okay. I'm gonna get a uh, Kona. That's fine, yeah. I'm gonna see the can for just a second. I'll give it back to you before I leave here. Okay. I'm actually headed, that's the Hawaiian beer. I'm headed there next month. And I got a Disney gift card here. So they have to, again, we said this earlier, they gotta put it in a cup because you can take out the little tab or the beer and throw it at the animals. So they gotta put it in a little plastic cup because that's much more environmentally safe than the aluminum can. It's actually beneficial to recycle. Shh, shh. Don't say that part out loud, Richard. It's kind of like when I try and have you sanitize your hands with antibacterial sanitizer for a virus. Shh, shh. Chris, you can't say, you can't say the quiet part out loud. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna just take a picture with it over there. I'll pass it back before I leave here, I promise you. And then I've got a gift card right there. Here Chris, can you bring both those over there? Boop! Everything goes boop. Alright. So it is 940 Kirsten. Time for beer number Four. Four. And this is a beer that I'm going to be having uh, next month, like where it's made. Kona, Hawaii. Kona, Hawaii. It's on the big island near that volcano. <laughs> it's but also it, where the is Iron it, Man thing is. Is it anywhere near the Jewish space lasers? What? You don't know about the Jewish space lasers? You have no idea what I'm talking about? So what do you think about that beer? Uh, it's a little drier and hoppier than the others, so I would actually put this last after the um, green one. Oh, yeah. It's an interesting beer. It's not really crushable. I'm going to crush it anyway. Um, but here, there's some, hold on, you're going to have one more sip? i got to do my... All right. All right, here we go. Again, showing you guys how the magic's made. All right, so I am here in Disney's Animal Kingdom in Asia for drink number four of our Drinking Around the World. This is a Kona Longboard. This is a thing I've only ever had before where it's not made because I've never been to Hawaii before. But um, I'm going to Hawaii, probably right when you're watching this long video here, I'm gonna be going to Hawaii. Uh, but we've got the Kona. It's a drier beer, um, but it's one to savor. Um, and I now have uh, 30 seconds to savor it. All right, and I'll be timing you. I cannot even believe this. You're like a superhuman. Aloha. And it is a, what is it? Does it taste like hoppy aloha? It does. Make sure to hand my you, can back. You, you did that in under 15 seconds. Throw out my plastic cup. It is currently, oh God, it's currently, change your watch face, 9.42 a.m. And I'm about to get wet because of drink number four. Now. For those of you that are like, what, what, is, what, is, what does Richard mean? He's about oh, to get wet. Oh, there goes wet. Kevin. Oh, there goes Kevin. I'm about to get wet because of drink number four. I am going to take anything of value, wallet, everything like that, take it off. I'm going to go on the river rapids ride. 
You generally get completely friggin' soaked on this ride? Yes. Kirsten doesn't want to get soaked. She didn't bring a change of clothes. I have multiple changes of clothes. Let's, let's, well, let's walk. I'm gonna let Kirsten be the camera lady for a minute. Um, this ride has an interesting distinction. It was actually the first River Rapids ride in the world when it opened in 1999, correct? So when this sounds, park opened? Sounds right. Sounds we, right. It opened in 98. 98, the, 99? The park. The park, yeah. When, when the park opened, it was the first River Rapids ride in the world with a drop on it. So it's actually got a vertical, it's got a vertical drop. I haven't been on it in years. The past few times I've been here, it's been under maintenance. Uh, number one and number two, I don't want to go around wet all day. Yeah. The good news is I think we got like two more rides to do and two, three more beers to have and then we'll be out of this park. So um, I'm gonna let you know just how wet I get. There's a Collie River Rapids sign. It says it's that way, yeah. So I'm gonna take off anything of value just bring my phone so I can bring you guys some clips from there. I have to, but yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna leave Chris in my wallet, this camera, the microphone, my neck cooler. Ah, we're in the Anandapur township now. But we're gonna find you a nice place to have a seat. This probably shouldn't take me more than 10 minutes. Right. To go in, out, and on my way, but show them where I'm going. I'm going on the Kali River Rapids with no poncho. Oh, look, there's a nice little, that's a nice little seating yes, place for you right here. Yes, a bench for Kirsten. So I'm going to leave everything here. Strip naked. Mm. I'm going to strip naked like Captain Kate's cat. Yeah. Mm. I'm just taking my phone with me. And I'll see you guys on the flip side. Kirsten, how wet do you think I'm going to be? Uh, uh, more than 50%. More than 50%? Yes. I've not gone on this ride in many years. Have you? I have not, but um, when we share thoughts afterwards, I'll talk about my river ride in Singapore experience. All right, I'm taking everything out of my pockets. I will be wearing the captain's hat. I will be leaving the neck fan. I will be leaving this camera. Why? Because this camera is not waterproof, but my iPhone's waterproof enough, because guess what? It just announced the iPhone 16 is coming out in like three weeks. So worst case scenario, I need a new iPhone. I see I'm bored. Hey, now I was gonna say, Christian, go do some beer scouting, but I don't think there's much beer scouting to do here. Then we can find some Asian beer. But then we got dinosaur beer, we gotta do dinosaur, we gotta do indie, we gotta do tough to be a bug, and then we're out of here. Right. Then we move on to Epcot, where we're gonna finish. But we're probably not gonna go into Epcot, we're just gonna go through security in Epcot and then go over to Magic Kingdom. Perfect. But uh, see you guys, and we'll see how wet I am after. Ooh, I'm excited to get wet. Oh, look, how nice. We've got RAF 13. Nothing's gonna go wrong here on RAF 13. See the next ride we're going to. Uh oh. People are starting to get wet already. This ride's all about like deforestation and logging and stuff like that, but a lot of the story has been uh, has been lost on people. But I think here is the big drop. Yeah. This is the drop. There's even like a person with an umbrella, I think, watching us. Making sure they're there. There's the person with the umbrella. Oh god. It's the first drop on a water ride ever. Oh god, we're going on the road! I'm okay. ah. ah. No! 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 Not that bad. Uh-oh. There's people waiting to shoot us with water cannons over here. Look at these people. They got the water cannons. They're gonna try and shoot us. I don't know where the water cannons are, but they're somewhere. And the people on the bridge, they're the ones doing it. No. 
Oh, good. Oh. Is that it? Oh, that's not bad. No. Oh, thank God the water cannons are off. And that's it. All right, so we're live. Uh, I just got off. Uh, I took everything off. Kirsten, do you want to feel my back? Yeah. You are drenched. In my back I am. In my belly I am. I'm not asking you to feel anywhere inappropriate, but my shorts are pretty dry. And my socks, feel the socks, that's the important thing. Just the top of the socks, they're bone dry. The worst thing is getting the squishy, squishy feet feet, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, and I avoided that. But Kirsten, we're gonna ride, what's your favorite ride in the park? Expedition Everest. I guess we're gonna go ride right now, unless it goes down. My favorite ride's Kilimanjaro Safari, we've already done that. There's a problem though, what time is it? No, it is, uh, what time is it? Beer 03. Beer 30. Have for beer number five. Beer 03. Oh, beer 03. 10 03. But that's for an hour. Don't worry, the breathalyzer's here, but I'm not ready for it yet. Uh, I'm not going to go. Honestly, can I tell you honestly? Carson, I'm trying to stay under 0.08 because we have to move. We have two cars. We have to move it once. Mm -hmm. And then after we move the cars, we're good. Yeah. We're going to move to Epcot. The problem is, Animal Kingdom is out in the middle of a. Uh, I actually own this place now, partially. Um, Bumfuck Egypt. Mm hmm. Familiar with Bumfuck Egypt? Uh huh. Maybe that's thinking. the slang for middle of nowhere. But you know I bought Bumfuck Egypt, right? You know that story? No. So I went to some gas... Have you been to Egypt before? No. No. I went to some gas station that's three hours from everywhere in every direction. And it was a pretty shitty gas station. They had no internet. They had nothing like that. There's... So I got him Starlink. I talked to the owner. And uh, we were selling Bumfuck Egypt merchandise. I went to Bumfuck Egypt and all I got you was this t-shirt and stuff like that. So it's been rebranded to Bumfuck Egypt. Thanks to my business mind. Where's BFE? I don't know. It's on a map now. But let's go uh, Beer 30. And then we're going to go ride Expedition Everest. I'll take you along for it because i got a camera that's capable of capturing Expedition Everest. Kirsten, so we stopped before Everest. This is still pretty crafty. I have a feel family owned and operated. Argued over. That means it's a pretty crafty Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. How is it? It's uh, pretty, pretty dry and hoppy. Pretty dry and hoppy. Let me try it real quick. Above or below Kona? Below. Oh yeah, that's the worst so far. Nothing's, it's not bad. But, um, all right. No, no, I gotta have another sip. Go ahead. This says drink number five. All right, here we go. What time is it? My watch doesn't tell me. 10, 10 a.m. Hold on. 10, 10 a.m., drink number five here. Sierra Nevada Pale Ale, still locally owned and operated. I'm gonna hand back the can, because we're in Animal Kingdom. Don't want that. Oh, Kirsten is uh, is chugging it right there. Sampling. She's sampling. She's gonna leave me half a sample left. It's not a bad beer, but the other beers we've had so far are better. Yes. Do you agree, Kirsten? Yes, and this one is not supposed to be crushable. Oops. I do kind of find it funny how they take away the aluminum can and give you a plastic cup. I want to point out too how uh, how beautiful this little truck yeah, it's is. very pretty set up here. Reminds me of uh, and we're headed Thailand. To the Forbidden Mountain right now. We got Expedition the Forbidden Mountain Everest. back there. Drink five and it's God. 10, 11 a.m. We've still got 12 and a here half hours of drinking Here in the village. Yup. 12 and a half hours of drinking left, Kirsten. Wow. It's like yeah. the first day we were in Las Vegas. What do I have left? Not quite. That was What's 20 left? days. I have $289 left on the gift card. I think I started with like $350. Congratulations. I might have to refill it. All right. You're crazy. Yes, I am. But that's no excuse. That's no excuse. Remember, here's the difference. If all you guys go around and you go drinking, you know what they call that? Alcoholism. When I do it, I get paid for it, Chris. So what do we yeah. call that? Content creation. What do I call it? Work. Let's try again. Yes. Work. I mean, I get paid for it. You guys are watching it. I'm getting half money. Now, for some reason, they sell all over the park. I don't know how I feel about this. This is all over the park. The stuffed... Oh, sorry. Uh, that was a little burp coming from that one. The stuffed pancake sandwich. I'm sorry. I had something for $3 that was better at Wawa. Look, another bar. Is there anything different? Uh-oh. Another bar. This is the bar on the Thirsty River. 
Oh, Ooh. look at that. Safari Amber. Oh, they have, where's the Safari Amber? And, uh, oh, they right have it there. on draft? Yes. Oh, I guess we have to first then, don't yes. we? Yes. Right now, two yeah. more beers before beer What do you mean, two buddy? more? Well, we had one, and this would be two more. You got a Safari Amber? One? Just one, yeah. On the gift card there. Boop. And Safari Amber is a unique, is that, that's a unique beer to hear made by someone, right? It's unique to Disney. Um, it used to be made by Amber's Bush Forest. Oh, okay. Now Breckenridge makes it. Is that the one that they also have in the Jungle Cruise Cafe? No. no. So that is called... Um, Congalooch. Yes, Congalooch. So they do have that over at um, Nomad Lounge. Oh, okay. And I just need you to talk about Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, um, so Skipper's and Nomad. We used to have it here pre-COVID. Oh, okay, so that's the, okay, they used to, that's the Congo Luch that they have at Skipper's, okay. And then um, the, one of our canned beers there, the Tiger Eye. Okay. That one's made only for Animal Kingdom. Okay. It's light body. For yeah, I had that, the Tiger Eye Gold you're talking about, the one that's in the can? Yep. Ooh, and that's yeah. a thick, it's, thick it multi boy. It looks darker than it drinks. Yep, oh, it looks darker yeah. than it drinks? Okay. It looks scarier than it is. You got it. All right. Oh, my God. Kirsten, you coming over? This is, this is, you know my beer speed. This is my beer speed for your like, beer speed. Like in amber. I just said it looks oh, darker yes. than it drinks. Oh, yes. Give it a taste. Yes. All within the same shot we've done now. So this is a unique one to Animal Kingdom. This is not Congaloosh, which we could get at Tiffin's, but we're going to get that at Magic Kingdom later. This is easy to drink. Tasty, a little different, very satisfying and refreshing. I'm not gonna lie, I know this beer, okay? And the fact that I know this beer kind of gives it an automatic number one. I do like it. I am willing to do that. I, I know I like I don't even need to taste it. I'm gonna I'm gonna taste it for the camera, but you know. Alright. So you guys are getting me getting to watch me make a short. Oh. You good? You wanna taste it once more? Once more. This is going away. Oh crap, what am, I about to, what am I about to get on? A roller coaster that gives me negative backward G's after I've taken down two beers. Probably wasn't the smartest thing in the world. We'll survive. All right. Drink number six here in drinking around the world, Disney World, Safari Amber. This is an amber made specifically, it used to be made by Anheuser-Busch, now it's made by a real brewing company, um, made specifically for Animal Kingdom, along the lines of the Congalouche that's available in the uh, Tiffin's Lounge, as well as the Jungle Cruise Skipper Cantina, which we will be at later today. Mm. Oh, that's number one, it's delicious. It's malty, it's it caramely. Is. It's got just the slightest hint of coffee. I love the I don't like coffee. I don't like coffee. But I'm okay with like the slightest hint. Yeah, so far, we've done about 80% of Animal Kingdom. We're gonna, we're gonna sneak in one liquor drink here in a little bit. Hidden in the McDonald's. Remember the hidden lounge in the McDonald's with the liquor? Yes. We gotta show them that. But, uh, oh, I gotta, I gotta finish this in the next uh, two so seconds. So many Disney Safari secrets. Amber. 